Hello, I'm Gord Price, director of the City Program, and here with Irene Adele and Herb Auerbach, authors of Placemakers. What's this book about? It is a brief history of real estate development, the long view, starting really in almost prehistoric times. We begin with situations in the Bible, run through the classical period, through European history, we come up to the present, but we know that's not enough, so we go into the future as well. Well, that's really my view of uh, history through, uh, through the eyes of real estate development. Throughout history, there's been real estate development. Very few people know how some of the places that we see all the time ever got there. One of the unique features of the book is that every chapter begins with an autobiographical story by Herb about personal experiences, professional and personal, related to real estate development. You know what's remarkable, Ira, is that it has a real global perspective. I'll confess, uh, I'm a North American-centric kind of guy. My experience, my reading, is pretty much focused on, I guess, the home continent. I learned things I had never heard about before and very helpfully had Google Maps along with me. So I yeah. could go to these places and see some I'd never heard of before. Gordon, there must be thousands of stories that can be told about real estate development throughout history. And I picked the ones that interested me. And I hoped that they would interest the reader as well. But what do you conclude about the personality or the nature of a of a quote developer. You say, in fact, uh, question whether there's a developer gene. We haven't been able to find the developer gene, but certainly developers have certain characteristics and we see many of them being manifested at the moment. One of the unique things that we do uh, discuss in the course of the book is that developers often come from other fields and other professions. So you could be a doctor, you could be an accountant, or you could be, uh, you know, own a construction company or an architect and then see what the possibilities might be when you begin to integrate and pull together all the characteristics and qualities that make for um, a reasonable or at least practical uh, development in a city or, of course, in the country. We have, as you know, in the latter part of the book, quite a discussion about suburbia and the construction of um, all giant tracts of land, especially in the post-war period. This is fascinating, I think, it was certainly fascinating to me, to delve into this and to look at the combination of accident, finance, and purpose. Accident being that land was available, people wanted to sell it because they didn't know what to do with it. I think it gives a great insight for someone who doesn't imagine themselves going into real estate about the kind of people who do. There really is no school that teaches real estate development. It's the school of hard knocks. Uh, the big or the great real estate developers, the ones who really added value and produced wonderful places, were those who had a certain creative sense and a certain knowledge of how to manage the creative process if they themselves weren't creative. So uh, the good real estate developers are pretty special. You don't call the book developers, you call it placemakers. What's placemakers. the difference? What's placemakers? Well, placemakers are people who really create special places. There are many developers who develop buildings of real estate. Uh, not all of the examples in the book are great places, but there are some wonderful places. And uh, I think there's a big difference between a real estate developer who just builds a building and one who creates a great place that you and I would enjoy being in and being part of. You know that when you see that particular space that has been created, and that is the right verb. Um, just as we know, we will walk through a building, a new building, um, but it doesn't pull us in and it doesn't keep us there. And I think this is part of what we are talking about in terms of this book and why we've chosen the examples that we've chosen, because we believe they are place-making spaces. Mm -hmm.